I saw him issue number one is the first book released through Ripperverse Publishing, which makes it extremely significant. Though this is Isom's self-titled book, it also serves as a launching pad for our entire universe. This 96-pager was written by myself, Eric July. The pencil and ink work was done by the great Cliff Richards, and the color work was done by Gabe El Taib. Two comic book veterans. This book is part one of the ill-advised arc, and it follows Avery Silman, who lives right outside of Flores Park, Texas, the place where he was born and raised. Now, Avery is what is known as an except, which is what common folk in this area call special people. Years ago, shortly after he got his abilities, Avery decided to become a hero of sorts and adopted the moniker Isom. But a certain event had him come to the realization that this life wasn't for him. So now he lives on his own ranch outside of the big city. One day, Avery gets a call from his sister Altona. She wants him to visit his old buddy because a family friend that interned at her company, Projexus, has gone missing. That old friend is Darren Fontano, and apparently he has some connection to his family friend. Fontano has much changed since he was kicking it with Avery when they were, you know, we lads. Now he's a cold-blooded shot caller that isn't afraid to do what it takes to remain in his position as one of the most respected people in the city. This is a man that you do not want to cross. What was supposed to be a simple meetup with an old friend turns into the longest day of Avery's life. He runs into other excepts such as San Juan, Yaira, and the Alpha Court. And some of these altercations take a very violent turn considering his past with one of these characters. You can see why he tries to stay out of the city. Who is this family friend and what is their connection with Darren Fontano? How does this meeting between him and Avery turn out? And does he get the information that Altona needs? How does this impact the psyche of Avery who went from a hero to a now blue collar civilian? These are all questions that will be answered in ISOM issue number one, which you can now pre-order at Ripperverse.com, along with some other limited edition merchandise items that will give you some more insight on the characters, such as... Earth, a place with such interesting beings. Like many other planets throughout the cosmos, their subjects have needless squabbles. But from those conflicts, I've discovered some creatures that could be of great use to our efforts. I'm not quite ready for the selection, but after many patient years, I feel it is time for more thorough documentation. This city is where we begin.